Unity 6 is out and it is looking good. And there's a few exciting new features. Now, one thing we're going to take a closer look at here is that if you head over to Unity's website and you go to the AI section, you'll see that there is now something called Unity Muse, which is Unity's AI tools. And there's a variety of things that it can do. And the one we're going to look at here, Animate, which is basically, as it says here, you can generate animations from text prompts and bring humanoid characters to life. So we'll look at how we can use this to prompt various motions and build a AI motion library and how we can then apply these motions to rigs in advanced skeleton. So let's get started. Here we have a blank new scene in Unity 6. So to get Muse installed into our Unity, we'll go here and say we want to try it for free. And if you log in, you get your 30 day free trial. After that, you can choose which module you want to get started with. And the one we are interested for this video is going to be the animate. So we'll just hit get started. And as long as we are on this website and we got Unity 6 a blank new scene running in the background, all we got to do is say install the package and allow for it to communicate directly with Unity. And then we'll confirm by hitting this install button here. And there we go. We now have the Muse menu. We can then choose new animate generator. And this is where we can enter a prompt. So let's start with uh, kickboxing. And yeah, we'll go by the default three second duration of the clip. Let's hit generate. And within a few seconds, we get the motion generated here. And next, we'll just double click on this guy. And then it needs to be converted into actual animation. So there's some parameters here for how much you want to sample it into keyframes. So we'll go with the default setting and hit sample. So at this point, it's been converted into these keyframes. The next step is to hit the convert to frames button. And at this point, we get some very interesting controls allowing us to edit the motion. All right, so at this point, I will I'm just going to close the generator tool and we're going to go look here at the assets. And I got here both the generated clip and the edited clip. At this point, these are just animation clips. You can preview them here in the preview part of the inspector. But in order to get this exported as uh, FBX animation, we do need a character to be in there that we can apply it on. And for that, we will just use the default starter character, which is kind of the equivalent of Unreal's mannequin. It does not come installed by default, but you can just grab it quite easily by going to the asset store. And in the search bar, type starter asset. And it'll be this uh, mannequin looking third person game character. And again, we can in the web browser, just hit open in Unity and allow for the connection. It will talk directly to Unity. And if you haven't downloaded it before, there'll be a button to download. But I have, so for me, the button will just say import to project. And it has a lot of examples, which is the certain playground with some ramps and boxes. We're not going to need all that, so I'll just turn it all off and grab only uh, the guy, which is the Armature FBX. So that will then appear over here under Project in Starter Asset. And there is the Armature guy. I'll just drag him into the scene. Actually, I'll drag him into the hierarchy. I'll drop him at the exact zero, zero coordinates. So I'm just going to grab the animation and drop it straight on the guy that will automatically add this animator component. And to test that, I'm going to just hit play. And there he is. Actually, let's do a couple of things to make that a bit easier to see when we hit play. We'll move the camera a bit closer. And 
we will turn the armature guy around so he's facing the camera. And we hit play again. And we can clearly see there is our kickboxing clip. Now let's export this as an FBX. Now ideally we we'll just select this and hit export FBX and we will get that. But unfortunately it's not that easy. First of all, F export FBX is not uh, doesn't come with Unity by default. You have to download it from the asset store. But even if you do so, that export FBX will does not have the option to bake the animation into keyframes. So we would not get the animation included. But what we're going to use instead to bake those keyframes is Unity's recorder function. Now, recorder is not available in here by default, but you can get it by opening the package manager. Make sure you choose the Unity registry. You type recorder. And there's the recorder packet. Hit install. And now in the window menu under general, we get recorder window. And we can add a recorder. And you can record animation, clip, movie, image, sequence, audio. Now what we're actually going to want, we want to record the motion into straight into an FBX file. But the FBX recorder is not yet available here. So what we're going to need to do, we got to go back into the package manager and type FBX. And it'll come up FBX exporter. That's the one we want. Hit install. And again, we'll reopen the recorder window. And this time, when you click Add Recorder, there's one more option here. You can record straight to the FBX. That's what we want. Uh, there's a warning here. It says, warning, no input object selected. Now, we're going to want that to be this game object. So you just grab this armature guy, drop it in there. It's ready to go. Now, this will bake the keys straight into a FBX file, but you got to manually tell it when to stop. So you hit the red play button here, which is the record button. We will then see the animation start up. And as soon as the animation is finished, we're going to hit the button that says stop recording. And that's it. That's done. Like if we look here on the path, you can see where it has written the FBX file. So I'll just copy that path, paste that in there. And here we can see we got one FBX file. All right, so far so good. Now we can bring this into Maya and apply it to a advanced skeleton rig. Well, before we do that, why don't we make one more clip? Because now we have the workflow set up. It's quite quick and easy to make more clips. It is just go to the animate generator, type a prompt, and maybe this time we'll go with some hip hop dancing. And there we go, looking cool. Double click on that. And we hit sample. Then convert to frames. And we'll just drag and drop that animation clip straight onto the armature guy. We hit play to confirm that he is now doing the dancing. There he is. Hip hop dancing, export that as an FBX using the recorder. Hit stop recording and it now has two clips. Let's then jump over to Maya, fire up Advanced Skeleton. I'll bring in a demo character. Let's grab Tuna. And what we can now do is open any of these selector or picker tools and go to the anime menu and the motion capture library. Now there's various sections here for different types of motion capture. We're going to want the motion capture custom. And we're going to browse to the path. So I'll just copy paste and choose that path. Then that gives us a list of all the clips that's in here. Let's go with the first clip and hit apply. And there we go. We got our, oh, this can happen. So this is looking completely wrong and erratic. If that happens, most likely the issue is the frame rate. So there was options in here when we prompted the motion to what frame rate you wanted to work with. And it was set to the default of 30. 
whereas uh, Maya here is currently set to 25. So they got a match. Let's set that to 30 and hit play again. And there we go. Now he's doing the right thing. And in this case, actually, you can see that his hands, because his slightly different proportions to the armature guy, his hands ended up a little bit close to his face. And I can show you here how you can adjust while the motion capture is still attached. You can make adjustments. So you can select this elbow, for example. And you can see it's constrained to the mocap skeleton and it's got offsets here. So you can adjust these offsets here. I'll just apply some values to the offset to make sure that the hands don't actually collide with the face. And there we go. Now, another thing, when you hit apply, if you get an error message there that says cannot find the top node, it could very well be that you're not on the latest version of advanced skeleton, which is required to recognize the Unity 6 armature mocap clip. So if you get an error message, just open advanced skeleton, go to the about section, click check for update. And most likely that will enable your update button so you can update to the latest version. Uh, yeah, we have one more motion clip. Let's choose that one, hit apply, and then we can see our tuna character doing the hip hop dancing. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.